to through the bible our story today is titled the scroll of god's law is found from second kings chapter 21 this is the story of josiah who became the king of judah at the age of 8 During the times of the kings in the southern kingdom of Judah where the descendants of King David ruled God's laws were written on scrolls and read to people so they could learn and memorize them Parents were encouraged to teach God's laws to their children But during the reign of King Manasseh The scrolls of God's laws were destroyed and burnt. It was thought that there was not a copy left in the land. Instead of obeying God, people worshiped false gods. Prophets and teachers of God's laws were attacked and put to death. Although wicked king Manasseh later pleaded with god to forgive him and changed his wicked ways the damage had been done people did not care for god or obey him when manasse died he was buried in the palace garden his 22 year old son emon became king but only ruled for a year he too had no time for god His officials attacked and killed him. His murderers were arrested and executed. King Ammon's son Josiah was only 8 years old when he was crowned king. However, this young boy decided he wanted to follow God rather than the wicked ways of his father and grandfather. But without the scrolls of God's laws or people to teach God's ways the people continued to worship false gods After reigning for 8 years King Josiah began to search for God 4 years later he ordered the altars to the false gods on the hilltops to be torn down The once magnificent temple of God that King Solomon had built had been allowed to fall into disrepair. People however gave money to have it repaired. King Josiah ordered Shaphan, the ruler of Jerusalem, to take the money and give it to Hilkiah, the high priest, to hire workers. to do the repairs laborers carpenters and builders were set to work repairing the damaged building the levites supervised the work then while the repairs were being made hilkiah the high priest made an important discovery there in the temple hidden from view was a scroll containing the book of god's laws an excited hilkaya rushed to shephan i have found the book of the law in the temple of the lord shephan immediately set off to tell king josiah the news shephan gave the king an update of the progress of the repair work and announced Hilkiah the high priest has given me a scroll he then read the book of god's laws to the king when the king heard how god wanted everyone to live he became very upset and tore his robes in grief god's anger must be great 
because we have disobeyed his laws he wept the king sent shephan and hilkia to a prophetess called hulda she had a message from god for the king as we have been so disobedient god's will bring a disaster on this land but as the king has humbled himself torn his robes and wept this disaster will not happen in his lifetime this disaster was an invasion by the babylonian army which happened after the death of king josiah the babylonians took the jews back to their land as captives king josiah called a meeting in the temple of everyone in jerusalem and juda along with all the priests and levites the king read the words of god's laws to everyone then promised to obey them with all his heart and soul the people then promised to do the same the king then ordered hilkia and the priests to remove all the idols and items in the temple that had been used to worship false gods all the pagan altars and sacred stones in the land were destroyed figures of gods were pulled down and ground to dust even the altar at bethel that king jeroboam had made many years before was destroyed it has been prophesied that a descendant of king david would do this pagan priests who had led people into wickedness were rounded up and executed king josiah then ordered everyone to celebrate the passover as it was written in god's laws it was a great occasion 30000 lambs and goats and 3000 cattle were sacrificed as people put their lives right with god musicians led in worship to god there had not been a passover celebrated like this since the days of the prophet samuel king josiah was now in the 18th year of his reign some time later pharaoh nico gathered an army to march north he was going to join up with the assyrian army to fight the babylonians king josiah did not want the assyrians to become more powerful and decided to intercept the egyptians at megiddo pharaoh nico sent messengers to josiah saying why are you planning to fight me it is not you i am attacking god has told me to hurry north so stop opposing god who is with me or he will destroy you king josiah ignored this warning and disguised himself as a soldier to lead his troops into battle but the king was shot by archers and badly wounded his officials took him out of his chariot put him in another chariot and brought him back to jerusalem where he died the whole land mourned for king josiah everyone was deeply upset the prophet jeremiah composed songs of lament about josiah which singers wailed to show how much the king would be missed the bible describes josiah as a good king who did what was right in the sight of the lord